Hi guys, it's Tim with Inflatable Office and Event Office, and I wanted to show you one of our um, coolest new things that we did for our latest release. So um, it's uh, filters for Google Calendar, and that probably doesn't sound exciting at all, but I'm going to show you uh, why it is pretty exciting. So there are other softwares that will sync with Google Calendar, um, but I don't know that there's any of them that give you all the options that we give you. So um, we let you do a lot of things with your Google Calendar. You can make multiple syncs. It's not just one. You can make each, each sync go to a different calendar in your Google account. You can put different data on each sync, and that's what these variables do. You can put different times down for each of these. So you could maybe just have a calendar that's just for setups, and it does the setup start to the setup end, and it goes on your setup calendar, and it has information that the setup uh, team might need. So um, all that has been possible for a while, but I want to show you some new stuff that we've added here. Uh, so we now have the ability to add filters to Google calendars. So, uh, and you can see we show you how many leads it's going to affect currently based on the filters that you've chosen. I'm going to choose some filters here, and this is probably not a realistic scenario, um, but at least I can show you kind of how it works. So uh, if for some reason you maybe had um, linen that you did work with and you maybe had someone in your company who uh, needed to, to work just with the linen, they don't need to see any of the other stuff. Uh, so you might say, okay, I'm going to include anything that has, that's in this linen job filter. And this linen job filter, uh, right now you can see it's, it's only one item, one lead. But um, what I did was I just set up any rental uh, category, any lead that has a rental category that is in linen. I wanted it to, to be caught by this filter. So uh, you can also do things like exclude. So if you say, well, I, I don't want them to deal with any wedding events. I have someone else that does the wedding stuff. So you can set up something like that. And um, then when you save that, whatever calendar you have this set up to, it's going to filter the stuff that goes onto that calendar. So then you could give that one person um, access just to that calendar. So I recommend doing is making all of your calendar syncs go to your company Google account. That way you can later, uh, if you get rid of somebody or they go and work somewhere else, you can turn off their access. But I recommend setting it up for your company account and in a separate calendar than your normal company calendar. That way, if there is an issue, um, which doesn't happen, uh, we haven't really seen it happen, uh, but you could always delete that calendar and then set up the sync again if you made a mistake or something. So, um, but what you can then do is then just share that calendar with uh, whatever employee and their Google account. So that's how you would do it. And this provides you, I think, with a lot of possibilities uh, to, to further uh, adjust how you want to get information out to your employees or put information on different calendars, even if it's not for your employees. If you just want to be able to turn on and off calendars when you're looking at your calendar so that it's easier to read, um, what you could do is set up filters like this so that you could say, okay, I just want to look at all my events that um, maybe are, are in um, maybe they're long-term events or maybe they're customer types or commercial or whatever you want, whatever you want, anything you want to filter on, uh, you can do that with. Um, we've even thought of some things even for ourselves because we use our own software to sell our software. And we thought, well, what if we were to set it up to say anyone who wasn't active in the last two weeks, we could have a calendar entry go in so that we could make sure that we call them and uh, and just get in touch with them so that uh, we don't lose touch. So there's a lot of possibilities with this, and I think that you guys are creative, and you'll come up with a lot more uses, and probably you'll come up with some things that you need us to adjust to make your use work uh, even better, and you know we love doing that for you. So anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I know it wasn't super exciting on screen, but uh, this is going to be a great uh, new feature for you all to use. Thanks, guys.